Ah, uh, what is good? We are finally back with more SPL Team Raiders vs. Cryonicals SPL Week 5. BKC already won this match in GSC, so Raiders are like unstoppable. They are 1-0, but yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna have to root for the Cryonicals here. And the next game is that I'm gonna be cover here is uh, Jade vs. Soul Wind, which should start in a few minutes. Black and White OU. Stay tuned for that. Okay, okay, here we are with the match. Soul and Broader Sand team, which is interesting because, like, usually you would think this is like Sand Rush, but Sand Rush is banned in black and white, right? <laughs> I like Mian Chao a lot. I love to see the Mian Chao on Jade's side. I think they are both 4 0. I know Thorn is 4 0. I don't know about the other guy. So, this is something Padlock would use Skarmory High Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Balance ish. That's probably Scarf Mincha, right? I think that's like the most common set, but don't quote me on that. Our Dragon looks. If our Dragon has super power, someone doesn't have like good switchings for that. I mean, it could be Scarf, High Dragon 2 if the Mian Chao is a different set, but it's Mian Chao is uh, Scarf and High Dragon is Life Hopper Specs. I mean, Among Us just gets a free spawn here, right? Quote unquote free. Because you can put Grass types to sleep in Gen 5. Let me just close this Skype real quick. I was talking about uh, that Poki and didn't upload the match versus me. On his channel, I'm kind of pissed. I said I'm unsubbing, but yeah, I'm just kidding. I mean, Soul gets up rocks, which is pretty good for him because uh, there's no hazard control on the other side. Skarmory, like, Defog doesn't get rid of hazards in Gen 5, so that's not a thing on Skarm. I know when man Petlo went offline, I wanted him to join the recording, and I think. Pekat also wanted to join, but I didn't see him online on Discord, and yeah, so I just I'm just recording myself now. So Landris comes out on the Cheetah. I mean, the Cheetah switched out, but. It's just a free spawn for Solon too. I feel like um What would be the scarf on Solon's team? Probably Teraki on right or, Th or Excadrill. I'm not sure about that. Because like Teraki on um can run double dance or scarf or bandit. I mean, there are probably more sets, but that are, those are the sets that I know about. He's probably just gonna get up a spike here, yeah. So he has a hazard stacking team. The rocks are on Titar, probably, and it's Titar or land, though. The lander could be double dance, but I don't know if that, how common a double dance land was in Gen 5. Just at full. So like if it's Specs Laddie he might go for Surf if you put it to Tita. Because he doesn't want to get pursued trapped by that. Or he can like uh, double into Terrakion if he wants to predict the Tita. Because if that's like Bandit Terrakion, so when uh, uh, Jade doesn't have good switchings for that, but he just wants to get rid of the rocks, I assume. So Jade had to be like I mean he's just scouts probably would have lived the Draco because he's maybe spdef among us. So he breaks a Draco slash surf there I I feel like. Cause or T bolt, which would have hit the Skarmory too, but I don't know if they want T bolt in Gen 5. That's my problem man, I need someone with that knowledge about Gen 5. This is just a free spin, right? Okay, toxic what? So went the god. So it's lefties, this is a bulky drill probably. I mean, it could still be max speed. I actually ran that set in my show in life that I uploaded 
yesterday. If you if we would see this battle, maybe it's two days ago. Substitute Toxic. That's interesting. Well, and he outspeeds the Lando. So yeah, this Lando might be double and the SD just got revealed. I feel like he predicted the Glisco there and wanted to SD and then dent it with a Stone Edge or like hit it hard with a Stone Edge. <laughs> now Zogan just gets the spin. That set is pretty interesting, I never saw that. Dude, Subs Toxic Excadrill. That's like the set you would expect from a Glisco maybe, but not from an Excadrill. That's so funny. <laughs> this isn't the set. <laughs> this might just be the worst set I've ever seen. <laughs> this actually beats Scum too. How does it beat Scum? We have PP stall, genius. Cause Ben <laughs> has 64 PP. I don't know. I don't know if it beats Scum. <laughs> okay, that's the whirlwind. <laughs> this is funny. You see, Mungus is still asleep. I feel he will just like Jade will just get up a spike again. Mungus is really weak, so it's not like Scumry has to fear an HP fire, but. So one really has the upper hand here, because he can always get rid of the hazard. <laughs> this excavator is literally going to six. So holy crap! That brave with that five. If he had Iron Head, uh, actually no. Oh, he's asking me. Did he message me on Discord? Oh, he did. So let me call him real quick. Um, I really don't see how uh, Jade can lose this one. Um, you are muted. I cannot hear you. You hear me? Yes. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'm looking at this battle. I don't see how he could break Skarm when he has a Latios, and that's about it. I mean, Solwyn basically has, like, he, he wins the Hazard game. Because he can always spin, and, like, uh, Jade cannot get rid of the Hazards. But yeah, I don't have black and white knowledge, so. Yeah, I don't either, really. I didn't go off this. But it's like he can't really break Skarm either. Like, sure, he has a Gliscor and a Latios, but Lottie gets trapped by Titar. But what is Star? But what is Skarmory doing? It's just like. Like, it will eventually run out of Whirlwinds. So it's yeah, this battle's just gonna take a while then. Probably SD Gliscor. I mean, my main question is what's this extra drill set? I don't know. I would expect the Gliscor to run that set, but not an extra drill. Yeah. Um, Fuga's just saying uh, Skarm beats everything, but it's like, like you said, Skarm can't really do anything back. Yeah. Like, Breathbot doesn't do anything to uh, Glisco probably, and Whirlwind only has so many PP. And it's not like the hazards are always up. Yeah. Oh, true. Falcon can't even get rid of any hazards at all either, so. Yeah. If someone had spikes, this would be over really soon. I mean, Spike only hit this hit half of his team, but oh, okay. nope, never mind. I mean, <laughs> this might just take fifty turns, and if the scammer is out of roost. Uh, are they both 4 and 0? Oh? I know so when this 4 and 0. Oh. Uh, I think he is. This Tita is probably... Uh, Do they run like Fire Blast and Ice Beam like in Ogres, Tita? Oh, like a mix Tita? Yeah, I think Rock's Tita runs that, I'm not sure. I think it just runs Ice Beam. 
Yeah, Falcons 4-0. Yeah, the, the other guy that was supposed to join the call, he went off them. I don't know if he's busy or something. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, he played that really nice because that X schedule is getting low now. The spikes are. I really don't see how Solwyn can win this. Like, I, I just thought Solwyn couldn't lose, but now that he got all the, all the hazards, I guess I have to change my opinion. Uh, would this be spec surf, Laddy, to like. Predicted Tita. I think so. I don't think he will always go hard into Tita because that's the last time he went into Among Us like as a mid ground. Yeah. He can bait the psychic move too. But if he goes for Surf, of course, some Among Us walls. Yeah, see? Oh, he's Trick. Oh, it's Scarf. Okay, now he takes Black Sludge every time. Can we just go Titar here? You mean Solvent, but Titar? Ah, uh, uh, we mean Falcon. Uh, Falcon, yeah. Jaded. Um. Yeah, he doesn't lose much from Titar. Cause like even if Solvent doubles to Durakion, he takes all the hazards. Yeah. What does me and Shao even do? I assume it's Scarf or... I think they run HPIs. Doesn't that just win then? <laughs> oh, he went for Surf, but it doesn't I mean, do anything. I mean, Mian gets warped by Among Us, kinda. But yeah, with Hazard up, it's a threat. Oh, he missed Draco. Yeah, that's... I mean, Draco wouldn't have killed, but yeah, that sucks. If he's banded... To rock you and that should get a kill. Is Lando duo dance or just I mean, SD so far? It revealed SD and it got poisoned, I assume it's dual dance. Wait, never mind, the Lando's probably rocks SD to attacks. Cause he didn't get up rocks with his gun, yeah. Oh the Tita oh. no the Tita could be rocks. <laughs> Not sure. The T doesn't scarf. Maybe that. Maybe that's bandit. I don't know if pursuit would kill the the lady if the T wouldn't have any attack investment. Because Ladi is frail, but if the T doesn't want any attack, I think it's a roll to kill from fifty two. If this is bandit, can he just click pursuit again? He doesn't really lose anything. Ladi's gone. I mean, even if even if he's not bandit, I don't. Like he can just kill this drill here, like whatever whatever move he has, unless he's only Stone Edge pursued rocks and something else that cannot touch Excadrill. And so so one kind of has to spin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Jay doesn't lose much from it. I mean. Tita already did his job in trapping the laddies, so what else is Tita doing? Yeah, if he went for pursuit there, I think it killed. If it was banded. I mean... This guy's like still a big threat. Yeah. I mean, is this how Dragon specs or? I assume hey. specs are life up. And then if he's HPIs me and Shao, then I guess he could deal with it. I mean, Minjo's but... Minjo's probably scarf, so that's he can just always go among us on if the Minjo comes out on Gliscor. Okay, now we see what Terrakion is. Among Us is asleep, so it, like he doesn't have a switch in. Um, Skarmory. I don't know if Skarmory runs max defense in black white. I'm still run like mixed defensive. Like since he has a Tita to trap Larry, this might be fist death. 
because he, he doesn't need Spadev to take Dracos. If he has a Tita yeah. in the bag. But Bandit Terrakion doesn't even kill if it's Fist of Scar. But he doesn't like he doesn't have a move to kill a Terrakion and he like he needs the Skarmory to get up uh, spikes. So I don't even know what he's switching into here. Yeah. Sack Lando or Sack Tita? I don't know. I was thinking Sack um, Lando. No, actually, yeah, Tita would be better. Like, it did his job. Tita doesn't outspeed much. I mean, I still don't know the Tita set, but if it's bad, it can still get a huge hit with the Mungus. Who else is playing today? Um, I think most games are at the end of the week, but I didn't check yet. Okay. Uh, I just found out that this game is... Like, I found out uh, 30 minutes before it started. Alright. Like, usually there are no like games on Monday. But yeah, um, BKC already won for um, for the Raiders. This is Raiders vs. Cryonicles. So yeah, that's how oh. it's live. Oh. Raiders are like unstoppable, I don't know, they have like really good team. Oh, he's life orb too? So he's probably Source Dance. Yeah, I kinda like, I like Fist Blade on that set because you don't get riddled down, but since I don't know anything about black and white, um, he might, he probably has his reasons to run life orb. So this is a uh, U-turn versus high jump kick. Just the monkeys is really obvious, but yeah. He doesn't lose anything from it though. Shao's kind of useless in this matchup. I mean, if the Terrakion stayed in, I guess he could have gone a monkeys if he breaked the CC then. We're on HP fire, okay, that, 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 this is nothing. Among Us is weak as fuck. Okay, if it crits, it's not weak. Wait, oh, crits do double the damage in black and white, it's not like an Auras. Oh, they do? Oh, what? Yeah. Wait. And hidden power is also stronger, hidden power is a uh, base 70 in black and white. I mean, that drill is dead if he switches out because his spikes getting up again, going up. Well, I guess he can just click Brave Bird. Brave Bird was fine there. Yeah, I don't see why he didn't. It's not like he can touch him. And then spikes just basically take down drill. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know what it's. Drills that accomplishes. Was he predicting him to bring some stall team? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's really annoying. I mean, how much would it have done? Like 45? I think so. Then he could just get up some spikes right here. Or not. Like, the spikes are gonna go up soon, so Sovan kinda loses now. I thought at the beginning that uh, he would have this pretty easy. Yeah, taunt the whole time. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't use that earlier. Stone Edge Taunt, Close Combat. I don't know if Turaki runs HPIs or uh, SD, the last slot. That was like a big change from Black and White to Aura since like Hidden Power got nerfed and 
Terrakion didn't really... Perhaps time to sleep. Yeah. With Spore. Like, Mons with weak special attack like main show. Like, couldn't really break Landris with HPIs anymore because Sin Power got nerfed. I also know Meteor Mesh got... I think it was from Gen 4 to Gen 5. Meteor Mesh was like... Higher base power. Right. And I think it has like had like less accuracy. Ooh. Why did he say? L hmm. I mean that crit didn't really matter. He only he already dodged the stone edge earlier. That would have two hit killed anyway. I don't see why he's preserving T Tar still. If the, that would have been the same. Like if you can weaken this gum, this Terrakion can win. But Spike plus Life Orb would have let... Solvent... Nah, Solvent cannot stay in. But that would be like... A nice read to stay in on a U-turn. <laughs> yeah, because U-turn is so obvious. But is he not going to Glisk or does he like really fear HPIs that much or... I guess Glisco would give a free switch into Hydreigon. Now he can he either can whirlwind or get up another spike. Finch uh, got put in uh, Sun and Moon Oyo this week. I'm not sure. Oh, he did. I'm not sure how good he is at that. I didn't even know he plays that too much. I just know he played for played for OST once, like I that he is an OST. I just saw the matchup like two hours ago. Oh okay. I was gonna sign up for um SPL mid season for Ubers. But I forgot. Mm. Um, which which team is Ben Gay on now? Did, did anybody get him? I think he went for like twenty um, k. I think was it Snow? Is Snow on um, a leader? But I'm not sure. I thought that um, Fuga or someone got him from Classiest, but I'm not sure. I just know that. Uh, Jamvet, I think Jamvet switched the team with someone. Uh, I have to look up in the thread later, I don't know. Yeah. I thought Jamvet would stay on uh, Cryonicles because I think they changed the manager now. Like Teal6 is managing. I think Valentine got banned, but I don't know too much about that, so I don't want to give wrong information. I mean, Terrakion is pretty much dead now. There was. Glisco can still win, uh, depending on the high dragon set. Terrakion dies to spike, so he's forced to sack it basically. Unless he wants, I guess he can keep it as fodder. Yeah, I think Solwyn just wins after that. Facade is the Roos and Earthquake, like an like Auris. I think he might be Spidef um, too. Sometimes they run Ice Fang, Glisco, or Glisco, however you pronounce that. But he, he revealed Facade already, so I, I doubt it. Um, Fuga said Jade can't lose, it doesn't have to be so tense. Yeah, he probably wins with Mancha plus High Dragon, but I'm not sure. How much is Titar at? 30, Maybe. 39. 
I have to spike. What, how much is spike to 10% or 12? I think uh, 10 or 9. It's 12. Oh. Well, T Tar is going to come in at like 39. Oh, he's taking forever. Oh, I didn't even see how much track was that. I've skipped too many turns. Yeah. That dragon is dead. Like, if a dragon comes in, he has to sack the Turakia and then. Like what does he even do to beat the, the high dragon if it's unless it's Gliss goes max spadev or like near even if it's spadev if he specs and he can't really beat it one v one doesn't Gliss go live a draco from full if it's spadev I could calc it I, mean, I thought I don't think Gliss runs max spadev anywhere it runs enough speed for I think for max speed Tita which is like I think forty speed on Gliss or something like that. That's what they were in Auras. Um. Wait, Blunder's playing at 1:30 p.m. Eastern. Oh, but I don't. I don't think. I don't know which day. Against Steve Angelo. You said 1:30. Yeah, but I don't know which day. Wait, one thirty. Oh. That that time is already over today, so ah. unless I get miscalked. Probably, th probably around uh, Thursday or Friday. Blunder plays around that time, like a lot. He just spams Whirlwind kinda and... Oh, he can grab another spike too. Oh, he killed Amungus. Yeah, it's over pretty much. Wait, what? Did, oh, what? Why did he do that? Why did he just sack his direct? Oh, he, he, he's, oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's sacking everything so he has last month let's go, I think. <laughs> My bad. That's fine. Yes, yeah, probably trying to sack everything. Uh, yeah, I don't think last month Glisco can win if it's HPS man show. Because that brings it in range for uh, Dark Pulse or Drake pretty easy. HPS doesn't do much to speed death, are they? That's what they're saying here. But it should at least do like 50 or 60. My bad. What happened? I mean, Solwyn cannot win anymore. Like, he's trying to like sack everything, so Gliss got the last one, right? But that was the only option he had. <laughs> yeah, but if HPS Minshew brings it in range to die for my dragon anyway. Oh, he revealed HP Ice? No, he didn't reveal, but it's really obvious that he has it. Oh, okay. And they all think it in the chat too, and it means she has a 95 base special attack and 70. Uh, like it's 70 base power, like Blana just said here. Why does game take forever? I only 50. <clears throat> Almost no, 50 turns, like you said. Almost 30 minutes. The ladder is really weird at the moment for the suspect, for the doggy suspect. I think no one got Rex yet. I think um, Lando's getting Rex soon, but that's all I know about. I'm like tenant. I kind of want gone. I'm like tenant. Yeah, I want doggy. You want doggy banned? Yeah. Yeah, same. 
I'm like 10 and 0 at the moment, but I'm too scared to get another game. There's so many tryhards on the ladder. Because <laughs> it's like, normally I wouldn't mind Dougie, but when it's on stall, it just makes it I mean, it's not, too annoying to do. It's not only on stall, it's also on Volcarona plus Dougie or Zard Y plus Dougie. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the stall one is the most annoying one. I. I made like a short on life with double Shetchel mons because Dougie is everywhere. Shetchel hit him plus Shetchel yeah. later to beat Stor. <laughs> and some people use eject button or some crap. Yeah, yeah eject button talks to packs. So yeah, they have HP I okay, that's 54. I mean, he cannot roost stall that. It's hidden power has more PP. I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know his only wind con is that uh, Jade falls asleep or something. I don't know. Like it's over. I mean, he was scouting for the hidden power there, but it doesn't help him. He has to like. He has to like. Um. I don't know if Ofkick would kill the Mancha. Probably not. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. His only chance was if he like killed a Manchu with Earthquake, and then if like Dark Boots got a min roll if the High Dragon was not specs. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's over. Let me see. Team Raiders versus Cryonicals. Two and over Raiders already. There's like, uh, there are interesting matches, uh, TDK vs. Poek, Nador vs. Zamrock, Anti vs. NJNP, Ray Scarface vs. Psychic Mewtwo. Um, let me, let me like pause the recording real quick and check when the next game is. So yeah, we had Pike, Pekat and this one, I didn't introduce him properly, but yeah. Honestly, not the most interesting match. I hope you guys still enjoyed. I don't think there are more games coming out today. Stay tuned for more SPL, more Showdown lives. Dockwitch signing out. Peace, friends.